In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today is Red Wednesday. Red symbolizes the blood of martyrs. We pray today for persecuted Christians around the world. We may become aware of their suffering, of their sorrows, but also their strength and inspiration for all of us in following the Lord. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in your inscrutable providence will that the Church be united to the sufferings of your Son, grant, we pray, to your faithful who suffer for your name's sake, a spirit of patience and charity, that they may be found true and faithful witnesses to the promises you have made. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw in heaven another sign, great and awe-inspiring. Seven angels with the seven last plagues, for through them God's fury is accomplished. Then I saw something like a sea of glass, mingled with fire. On the sea of glass were standing those who had won the victory over the beast. And its image and the number that signified its name. They were holding God's harps and they sang the song of Moses, the servant of God. And the song of the Lamb Great and wonderful are your works, Lord God Almighty. Just and true are your ways, O King of the nations. Who will not fear you, Lord, or glorify your name? For you alone are holy. All the nations will come and worship before you. For your righteous acts have been revealed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Great and wonderful are all your works, Lord, mighty God. Great and wonderful are all your works, Lord, mighty God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his own holy arm. Great and wonderful are all your works, Lord, mighty God. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward 
the house of Israel. Great and wonderful are all your works, Lord, mighty God. Let the city and what fills it resound, the world and those who dwell in it. Let the rivers clap their hands, the mountains shout with them for joy. Great and wonderful are all your works, Lord, mighty God. Before the Lord, for he comes, for he comes to rule the earth. He will rule the world with justice and the peoples with equity. Great and wonderful are all your works, Lord, mighty God. Please stand. Remain faithful until death, and I will give you the crown of life. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowd, They will seize and persecute you. They will hand you over to the synagogues and to prisons and they will have you led before kings and governors because of my name. It will lead to your giving testimony. Remember, you are not to prepare your defense beforehand, for I myself shall give you a wisdom in speaking that all your adversaries will be powerless to resist or refute. You will even be handed over by parents, brothers, relatives, and friends, and they will put some of you to death. You will be hated by all because of my name, but not a hair on your head will be destroyed. By your perseverance, you will secure your lives. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, today you will notice that many churches around the world are lit up in the color red. Today is what we call Red Wednesday. And we light up with the red color our churches so that we could express our prayers and support, our help for persecuted Christians around the world. Christians who are killed and murdered because of their faith. And we will notice, my dear brothers and sisters, that persecuted Christians then, before, and now, they have something in common. That when they are put to the test, they do not defend themselves. They defend God. They do not just stand for themselves, they stand for God. And the promise of Jesus in our gospel today is this, when you stand for me, 
I will also stand by you. That is the promise of Jesus to the persecuted Christians in our gospel reading today. Jesus told them, they will seize and persecute you. They will hand you over to kings and governors. And these persecuted Christians will testify not for themselves. They did not seek to defend themselves. They sought to defend God. They stood for God. And God stood by them. God defended them. When have you stood for God? If push comes to shove, do we stand for ourselves? Or ultimately, do we stand for God? Since there are many basketball players here this morning, binilin kayo ni Father Vic sa akin na magsisimba kayo. So, let my example be from a basketball game. I'm sure a few days ago you have watched also a part of the basketball game when there was confusion and chaos and violence that erupted. But a certain picture came out. One player shielding his fellow player from any other violence. This player chose to stand for his uh, teammate. This player chose to stood to stood to stand for God. And it earned praise more than winning, more than winning the game. This sportsmanship earned praise. When you stand for God, God will also stand by you. And we are very happy to know that in the past days, the player who hurt the other players worked for reconciliation. He did not just stand for himself. He admitted his mistake. He was courageous enough to apologize and said it was his mistake. And we hope that there will be reconciliation and rehabilitation for everyone. When you choose not to stand for yourself, but when you choose to stand for God, even if it means admitting your mistake, then God will stand by you. That is why in our first reading today from the book of Revelation, we will see the vision of heaven. Those who stood for God on this earth is now standing beside God in heaven. When you stand for God, He will also stand by you. My dear brothers and sisters, as we continue this celebration of the Eucharist, let us be reminded and be inspired by Christians who are persecuted around the world. Let us be inspired to stand for God. And when we stand for God, God promises us He will also stand by us. Amen. Please stand. Loving God, we come before you as a church born from the cross of Christ, a church that has grown through 2,000 years from the glorious blood of martyrs. For every intention, we will say, Deliver your people, Lord. Deliver your people, Lord from discrimination against believers and against the whole community of the church. Deliver, Deliver your, your people, people, Lord. From the isolation of prison, prison scums and the loneliness of exile due to our faith in Christ. 
Deliver the your people, people Lord. Lord. From the anguish of meeting in hiding places for worship, because Christianity is not authorized. Deliver, Deliver your, your people, people Lord. Lord. From injustice, war, terrorism, kidnapping, torture, murder, and all human suffering because of Christian faith. Deliver your people, Lord. From infection of the coronavirus, especially from the front, for the frontliners risking their lives to protect everyone. Deliver your people, Lord. Let us now say together, after every invocation, In you, Lord, we place our hope. In you, Lord, we place our hope. For bishops and priests, prohibited from exercising ministry in church or in public gatherings. In you, in you Lord, Lord, we, we place, place our, our hope. hope. For religious and missionaries dispersed, unable to, to live their life of consecration. In, in you, you, Lord, Lord we, we place our hope. For generous young men and women, prevented from realizing their religious or priestly formation. In you, Lord, we place our hope. For parents denied from giving their children education in the faith. In you, Lord, we place our hope. For manual workers, intellectuals, and professionals who run the risk of being deprived of opportunities because they profess faith in God. In you, Lord, we place our hope. For those infected with the coronavirus, that they may be restored to health soon. In you, Lord, we place our hope. For the victims of the pandemic brought about by the coronavirus, that God may give them eternal rest in His kingdom. In you, In Lord, you, Lord, we place, we place our, our hope. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions and for all the intentions offered in this Mass. Loving God, we have seen life and death face each other in the wondrous duel in the life of Jesus, your Son, our hope of glory. That duel continues in our day, ease our fears, console us in our pain. May the sufferings of your church be the life-giving sap, the balm of healing that our world needs. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. 
May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, we ask, O Lord, the prayers and sacrificial gifts we offer in humility and grant that those who suffer persecution for their faithful service to you may rejoice to be united to the sacrifice of Christ your Son and may know that their names are written in heaven among the company of the elect. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, his death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. By the power of this sacrament, O Lord, confirm your servants in the truth and grant to your faithful who suffer tribulation that as they follow your Son in bearing their cross, they may in every trial glory in the name of Christian. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our healing rosary for this evening will be hosted by the Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal Parish in Binyan, Laguna, in anticipation of the feast of Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal this coming November 27. We thank their community for hosting the rosary this evening and let us be together at 9 p.m. in praying the healing rosary for the world. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God.